Hello, welcome back to headquarters. Today we're going to be doing Hogwarts again. Let's go. Okay, welcome back to headquarters. Today we're going to be doing Hogwarts again for episode 14, which is crazy. I can't believe we're already up to episode 14. Um, but it has been an incredible series, and um, yeah, I'm loving it. So let's get right into the objectives. I forgot kind of where we left off. Holy cow, there's a ton of quests here that need done. Okay. Speak with Sebastian. Sebastian and Ominous were seen arguing in the Great Hall. I should find out what this is about. That's possible. Attend astronomy class. Um, upstairs from the room of requirement. I should head there now. And then uh, meet Natty in Falbarton Castle. So prepare for your search for the final keeper. Okay. So I have to do these two things for that. Well, do I hit any of these unlock anything? This one gives me more wand handles. Madam Twindle's mysterious statue. I don't need any wand handles right now. This was the one I was going to do. I am going to go do this one. So let's do that first. If we have enough, we might buy that broom upgrade. We should have enough. Oh, and we have to check out the beast shop too. Forgot about that. Yeah, we definitely have to check out the beast shop. We got to get more beasts. There are a few that I overheard that like are very important, like that cat looking one. I don't remember what it's called. And the dairy call, which is like a dodo bird. All right. Man, come on, textures. Would you mind rendering in? Glad you came. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I spoke with him. We're actually working together. Yeah. I did. Thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ramrock. Are you? Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. And I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I... Of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed. But the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, uh, full of old letters and such. <laughs> mm. Why did you leave your box? Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. Ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. Okay. Why does Miss Sprottle have a Wiganwell supply? Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wiganwell potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioneer. She's been supplying traveling vendors with Wiganwell potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity. What with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Okay. Yeah, I'll swing by. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me. And to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. Okay, You'll okay. find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. All right. Oh. Akio. Nice. Okay, well, let's run our happy butts over there. It's only 400. Yeah, no more flying as soon as we get out of here. Oh, this is the. Uh... Here I come. Yeah, I want to check this place out. Hello. Mind you, don't turn quick. If you're stuck with a Dora Call Feather, it doesn't half hurt. There it is. 
Bruden Peck. Proprietor Ellie Peck is a fierce protector of beasts and will give a fair price for any beast in need of safe home. Brood and Peck is the shop to visit for beast byproducts like pooper feathers and niffler fur. Alright. Notice that there is a chest of some kind right there. Rebellion. And that's all in here, yeah. Okay, what's up? Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently, had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Because we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? Moon car fur? Derrickal feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derry calls. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. Fair enough. Not an ideal choice of merchandise. Seems like a poor choice of inventory. Surely that's obvious. You don't mind sharing your opinions, do you? Despite the fact that we are a wizarding village, doesn't mean these things appear by magic. Takes a lot I think to that was the feathers. Rude. Don't get me started I wasn't trying partners. to be rude. Most of the suppliers of Fwopper Feathers may as well be living in Sid Mungo's. Perhaps it was your dealings with Fwopers that led you to the precarious idea of stocking Diracles. Oh, you are well and cheeky, aren't you? Don't worry, I don't mind. Never had a still tongue in my head either. And I'll have you know that it's my eyes' priority to ensure that all beasts are safe and well cared for. Right thing to do and good for business. Anyway, perhaps you should have a look around. Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. <laughs> Always nice. best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out, <laughs> which they used to literally do. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you, I will. Take all the time you need, and thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. Okay, uh, yeah, merci. What yours. do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? Okay. Interesting. I don't have anything to sell. That's funny. I'll not mind seeing you here All again. Right, see you. Consider yourself welcome. So how do I... I was told that I could sell extra... Um, my extra beasts in there. I was just curious how that worked Sometimes out. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Why do you say weird stuff, dude? Alright, now I can fly. I don't know if these balloons are something more important or what. Bed. I heard something. Yeah, let's fight these guys. All right. I know what that means. Merlin trying. Am I out of Mallow Sweet though? I know I have some, don't I? Or am I in battle still? Yeah. What the? Sorry, buddy. I wouldn't have killed you if I didn't have to. Yeah, I'm out of Mallow Sweet. Okay. I'm not sure if there's like a quest to do with these balloons or not, but I have not been popping them, so. Oh yeah, there is definitely. 
Ah, up at Hogsfield. Now, where to find Mrs. Brottle? Revelio. Mine now, Demi guys. I oh, there's a Demi guys in here for sure. Awesome. Gosh, I'm pushing the wrong damn buttons. There we go, gosh. Demi guys. Oh, is it daytime now? Oh my, now it's nighttime, isn't it? What do we have here? A Demi guys. What? I guess now it's nighttime. Um, what? There we go. God dang. Okay. Rebellion. Pumpkin Fizz. Pumpkin Fizz is a fashionable carbonated drink with a pumpkin flavor. It has yet to become popular here as Butterbeer, but no one knows. Hello, what the hell are you doing? That's not an enterable door. Revelio. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Upper Hogsfield is being terrorized by Ranrock royalists. Hello, I'm sorry. Right. right. Revelio. in here eat their candy on the way out this looks intriguing oh cool Revelio. By now, had by dark wizards, he was. You're the person I'm supposed to talk to. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay. If you guys want to read this, go for it. I don't really want to read it. So there's that, and then I'll scroll down. And there you go. Sorry, I just don't want to read it right now. I should, but I just don't want to. Here's the second part. There you go. You can pause it whenever. And here's the third part. There you go. Rebellion. All right, here's this. This is a letter. It's been some time since we've heard from you. How are things in the ministry? We continue to think of you and hope that you're doing well. You'll be happy to know that we've made our peace with your decision to become an Auror, as dangerous as it is. You must live your life and follow your path. You are doing so. You are doing so in the service of the Wizarding World. I'm proud to call you sister. I must inform you of something that you may find curious. It seems the troll has taken up residence in the train tunnel near the town. The poor thing most certainly is most certain to learn a tragic lesson about fundamental velocity of locomotives. Right, so interesting. Nice to see you. 
see you, my young friend. Not sure how I'd fare it. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. Mm, okay. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolph Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolph. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders. Especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Okay. Why would Bardolph want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Interesting. Do you think Bardolph may have simply run off? No. Bardolph's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. Oh, okay, I see. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolph was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Okay, Claire well, I need to talk to you about something else to also. Oh, why do I not have to now? No, I still do. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigan World potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. I can certainly try and find some for you. That would be wonderful. I'm worried about the traveling vendors and would love to get the more Wigan World potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Serona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. <laughs> Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden. Learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk clumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. Sure. This could prove dangerous if we're not careful. Well, what are you doing? Uh. 
let's see. Oh, and Bernie, okay. Interesting. Incendio. Releases. Expelling office. Oh shit. Couldn't bring that. I don't know why I decided that I was going to go out of my way to fight them. I just did. Rebellion. Ah, level. What's that? Level three? Level two. You They come after me. They'll rest in ten graves. Nothing to poach in Aranger except spiders. Not worth the trouble, if you ask me. Legs are far too brittle. They come after me. I'll stick him on the tail. That was cool. Lyondale's not high. Sure. What's this? I shall get that goblin held back. It isn't Nora. Oh, yeah. The beasts are safer now. What in the hell? No. Well, I think I've officially completely got myself stuck. Oh, my God. Oh. Wow. Well, that's good that there's a... There we go. I don't know what beast is over here, and I, want, I just want to stay hidden just in case it's something I really want. Oh, is that it? It's a unicorn! Yes! Awesome, dude. I would love to see if there was maybe one more in here. Significantly doubt it. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Excuse me, bitch. Can I... Excuse me. Well, that was just straight up bull honky. Oh my god. That was just a bunch of shit. Okay, I went the wrong way. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Oh, 
Goodness, dude. Another one? Let me also. Akio. Couldn't bring those. Okay. Goodness. Okay, this is the way I'm supposed to be going. What is going on over here? Oh. I couldn't wait to get out of Hogwarts when I was there. I was always being reprimanded for something. What was I? Oh, okay. You're the one who stole the goblin okay, that's not what I meant to do. Ah. It's for the officers. How many would you fuck that? You're a slippery little prick. Master uh, your no! Let me go. No matter how many of you be, I see you. Ha! Ha! a little dirty but not too bad. Rebellion. Pretty sure I've already searched this entire camp before. So now it's just the materials from the from them. Yeah. Okay. Okay, in this area is what I'm supposed to be looking for. Okay. Oh, uh, the Infernies are here. Gotcha. Okay, what's up? Um, okay. Damn it. 
Damn, dude. I can't get around this fucking dude. Really hard battle. Revelio. Oh, the jobber no right there. I got gotcha. you. Gotcha. Professor Howard will never believe this. Okay, I gotta go up there now. We're back to Claire. Well, for one thing, that wasn't even what I was trying to be doing, so. What was I was trying to be doing? Yeah, this one. That was what I was actually trying to be doing. Oops, let's see how far away this is if I'm close to it. Ah, uh, yeah, it's kind of back in the same direction. I could probably do it all in one trip. I was going to try to sneak up. I juggled that one guy for way longer than I should have. Okay, back to what I was doing. This must be the cavern Mrs. Bottle mentioned. Collect pork lump juice, collect Serona's letters, collect Serona's letter box. Okay. Let's have a look around, 
See if I can find that box of letters. It's getting there. Just a few more hawk lumps to harvest. Oh, you can kill the fish. Oh, I didn't kill it. Okay. Oh, I wonder if there's something through there. Oops. That's what I meant to do. Oh, shnikes. You need Lumos for this. Lumos. Okay. Almost there. One more walk up to harvest. Thing is, is I would like to keep That's that. That's comes for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Do I need to go down there? Oh, either okay. I'll have to fight that troll or avoid it altogether. No, we're fighting it for sure, big dog. Okay. Let's see if we can hit him with all to pick this this palace. What? Oh, okay. For some bug, I suppose. I, I, dude, I'm getting sick and tired of like literally pushing a button and it just not works out. Again, push a button and it literally not works. Push the button, dude! God, that was kind of an insane fight. Not gonna lie. Let me know in the comment section if that was something you were impressed by, disappointed, or if that was just kind of a mid situation. Because I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit impressed with myself. So, yeah. I would like to know what is in here. Nothing. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh. 
something behind there. Dude, this is the place for Horklump. God damn. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, wait. I need to be back up there, yeah. How does one do that? All oh, right, there's done. Can you get up there, please, you stupid ass? There we go. Can I catch the squirrels? I don't think so. Oh my god. Okay, we're reading a bunch, I guess. Because this is kind of a long thing uh, with Dear Serona. So this will give us a little backstory on Serona. So we're going to do a bunch of reading. I hope you guys are okay with that. If you want to skip through, I'll put a little timestamp down below that skips all the reading. Uh, unless there's something interesting. So here goes. Dear Serona, when I arrived here, I had troubling sense that in many ways I wasn't like the fir other first years. I confess, I worried that Hogwarts might not have been the proper place for me. And pondering sending an owl to my parents asking them to fetch me almost before the first week of classes had ended. How do you know? I presume you're not secretly a legin, leg, legim, leg, legil, legil mims? I don't know, but I wonder if you see, I wonder that, you, but I wonder that you seemed to know my thoughts better than I did myself. That day in the three broomsticks, when you spotted me huddled in the corner, staring blankly at an untouched butterbeer and an empty bit of parchment, my quill dripping ink woefully onto the floor, and you came to sit with me, well, I shall never forget it. I recall sudden sense of relief, as if someone had cast a levitation charm on me, when you told me how nervous you had been to come to Hogwarts. I looked at you, and it seemed beyond my imagination to think of you as anything but the confident, contended witch sitting in front of me, sitting before me. In the days that followed, I marveled at how you charmed in the non-magical sense. I mean, everyone around you without apology. Embracing <clears throat> embracing who you were and who they were. It was though a candle had flickered on me, I realized that I could choose the path as well. Now that my school years are ending, the frightened first year which had been, I had been seems whirled away. And I know that it's because you saw yourself in that despairing creature in the corner of the pub and so generously extended yourself to her. Yours sincerely, Mirabelle. P.S. Please tell Miss Sproddle that I still plan on visiting her and Mr. Sproddle whenever I can for their delightful conversation. And I am unashamed to admit her incomparable cauldron cakes. My dear Serona, I've sent a note separately to dear Mr. and Mrs. Sproddle for their hospitality. But I felt the need to put a quill to put quill to parchment with my thanks to you as well. What a lovely respite from the castle. I won't soon forget how we giggled about that ridiculous gnome. Did he truly believe he was singing? And Miss Sproddle's steak and kidney pie was simply glorious. I shall be dreaming of it for days. I so appreciate you including me. I fear I must warn you, however, this does not mean I will go easy on in the next week's match. You know that Ravenclaw is no match at all for Slytherin this year. Most gracefully, Philomena. Okay. Oh. Dear Serona, I conjured this wee gift for you as a token of my gratitude. If you hadn't stood your ground on, behalf, on my behalf during Quidditch practice last week, I might have left the team altogether. And now we won the Quidditch Cup. Ravenclaw House would not be the same without you. You're sincerely, Sean. Dear Serona, Happy birthday, my darling friend. I sneaked into the kitchens and asked Finicky to make you your favorite. Cream crow die. She was delighted to oblige. Not sure where she got the raspberries this time of year. Genius, but that Finicky best. This must be Serona's box of letters. Oh, God, another long one. Dear Miss Sproddle, Mother and father were delighted to hear that you and I had spent the afternoon at Glad Rags last Saturday. Truth be told, I think my mother was ever so slightly envious. I shan't soon forget how... Hartley, we laughed at my efforts to lace the body of my new dress, the bow bo dice of my new dress. A challenge indeed, as it is a rather delicate practice of properly situating a hat pin without wounding either my hat or my head. But I adore everything that we selected, and I have you to thank for now feeling like a marvelous fashionably witch. <clears throat> 
It was also a terrible treat to dine at the three broomsticks without having to clear the tables. I shall own a place like that one day, mark my words. I consider myself more than lucky that you and Miss Sproddle agreed to let me stay. I know that my parents feel precisely the same way. Yours gratefully, Saron. I think that's everything. All so right, guys, I think that is everything. That was a ton of reading, and I am not a fantastic reader. Oh, more hawk lumps. I should find Mrs. Brottle. She'll be glad to get these hawk lumps. Dark mongrel? Eh, no worry. Confringo! Akio! Man, dude. That dog was literally just sitting there like, what the fuck? I guess I don't have to run. I could fly there, but for some reason I feel like this is a special place I'm finding right now. But it's not. Return to Dorothy Sproddle in Upper Hogsfield. Okay. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. I have good news. I was able to harvest some hawk lumps for you, and I found Sorona's box of letters. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of wig and weld potion. And Sorona will be delighted to have those letters. How kind of you. Now you be careful heading back to Hogsmeade. I should take this box of letters to Sorona. She'll be glad to have it back. Yes, you should, bro. Yes, you should. Okay. Then let's do that, I suppose. Is that the quest we have? Uh, yeah, okay. So we're good. Uh, we could just fast travel there, I forgot. Also, there are not there are nine total demigod statues here and five collection chests. I haven't got any of the collection chests, and I've only got two of the demigods, which is crazy to think that I haven't got anything hardly. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Okay, real quick before we even go into a shop. We need to check our gear because if I have something better, then I need to go ahead and equip it now. We did get a new wand handle. It matches the color almost, but I don't like anything else about it. Damn. Yeah, that's a good one too. Okay, so now let's equip our favorites back. Oh wait, I already had my favorites. Uh, this one. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh wait, no, wait, no, wait, no. There we go, I had that one equipped in my bed, my bed, my bed. Locally dokely, that is done. Yeah. Oh, you have to have them on you to sell them, I see. I don't know why I feel like you should be able to sell a unicorn for far more than that bird. Like, it's harder to get. Why would you not be able to sell it for more? Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk lumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. One of the letters mentions Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. I was the Ravenclaw Seeker for three years. Oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. 
I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. We could have cheered them on together. I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind, especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Sprottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. <laughs> she taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Sprottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through... <sighs> well, got me through some challenging times, to put it mildly. Oh, I'm right, glad okay. I could be of help. S Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her, and for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. Serona has said the Sloth Eyes, hardcore. By the way, if you're still watching this far into the video, type slid the Sloth Eyes in the comment section. I just want to see how many people actually type that. Sid the Sloth Eyes. I just think that would be a funny thing if there was like four people in the comments that just said slid the Sloth Eyes. So, okay, we're going back to the um, the trader lady. I'm probably gonna sell this other jabber. What's it called? Jabber foot? Jabber loo? I don't remember. Yeah, it's up this direction. I always go the wrong way. Hogsmeade, here I come. Come We're in. already here, dummy. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Oh, so you can only sell these here. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm going to sell the job or no. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Cool. Okay, then we're going to go to a different one. Probably the broom shop to sell her some more crap. Oh, don't mind if I do, buddy. Thank you. Well, there's a... Damn it. You're back! Nice to see you again. Alright, buddy. First things first, let's sell our job. Oh no, we've got three grand. I don't really want to buy this now. I want to go buy that hopping pot. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you yeah, again. Yeah, sorry buddy, I ain't buying that. Fucking cat, I almost just petted that stupid thing. Ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. This one. Nothing like finding Could just, you just buy the right thing. Yeah, I've got two galleons left. Awesome. All right, let's head back to the uh, sanctum. <laughs> the sanctum, why did I just call it that? The room of requirement. Head back to the sanctum. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's uh, temporarily go into build mode here. We'll put build mode there and we'll put remove here for now. Let's go down here. First things first. All right, and next. Potions, yes, I like this one, I think. I can have three of these bastards.
I think just three, yeah. That's awesome. Okay, and then... What's this? Okay, nothing important. Eh, nothing important. And nothing important. Alright. I feel like I should get a composter. And what's this? Chopping station? Scientific style chopping station that periodically produces a plant ingredient. That's crazy. Okay, well then, let's uh, go back to here. We'll change our potions back. We have Flipendo here. And what did we have here? I'm going to put this one there. Until then, we are going to go... Probably Levio, so because I feel like it's pretty useful. Okay, and I can definitely make more Wig and Weld, which is gonna have to happen. I actually should have put those potion pots over here instead of where I put them. I'm kind of a dummy. What are these? These are just making random things, which is awesome. Oh wait, what uh, does anything else require Horklum? Oops, I accidentally made that already. No. Which is good. Okay, cool. So we can make as many of these as we want. That's the last one we can make. Oh. We have 16. Awesome. Okay, let's go check our beasts and release our unicorn. Which is super cool. Oh, uh, I can only have four different species, so I have to take one of these species out. <sighs> um, why don't we take the puff ins out for now? Um, return to wild. That's not really what I was hoping for. I'll move to yourself. I mean, you know how. Okay. Um, T to summon that. Didn't mean to push that button that many times. Oh, what? That is not what I meant to push. Sorry, dude. Now I feel like an ass. That was just like, ha, joke's on you. That's actually... Oops. This is actually what I had here. There we go. Sorry. Oh my god. I am an asshole to these animals. Totally on accident. I am so sorry. He's not ready to be interacted with. Yeah, because I just flung him up in the air. I am so sorry, man. I genuinely did not mean to do that, dude. As soon as he gets brushed, we'll... 
as soon as he gets brushed, we'll be able to, uh, there we go. Oh, cool. I love it. Awesome. Anything? Nope. So what can we do here? So we have this one that we're wearing. Let's... Jobber Knoll feathers. Maybe we should have been keeping... Keep the Jobber Knoll. I don't have any Dairy Call feathers. And that's too powerful, so... Oh, and I should have kept the damn puff skeins in there too. Shoot. Do I need the moon calf stuff for now? I don't think I do. So maybe I should take the moon caps out instead. Let's go back in here and change up our idea here. So let's take the moon calves out. Uh, there, there. I'm not going to hurt you. And let's put these in. There we go. Puff skeins. We're doing good. Let's go check our potion bottles. Five minutes on those. These all gotta grow for at least ten. Oh, five, five. Okay, five minutes on those. And so, yeah. Well, we gotta at least do one more mission. I don't feel like we accomplished enough in this episode. So let's... Let's go do something fun. Attend astronomy class. Let's do that. I don't, I don't have what oh, okay there we go I was like I don't have one in astronomy that sucks what are you up to now shut up Grace, what was it you needed my help with? I was hoping oh. you could dive down and retrieve a treasure to find oh, yeah. the no. Yeah, now I remember. Sorry. Are these people just people that I... What? I'm so confused. That was an interesting class. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. Well, for certain you'd have helped. Yeah, sorry, bro. It did sound like fun. I shouldn't have been so concerned with getting in trouble. I think it's good to take risks every now and again, especially when it comes to potions class. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. This seems like the room of people I've like talked to and helped. Across the wands was so much fun. Revelio. What the hell? Alohomora. Huh. Oh. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Slap? What the hell? Hmm. 
What? Why do you- why am I slapping this thing? Am I supposed to slap it when it's in the middle? Oh shit. Is that really the goal? This is insanity. Oh man, I thought it was going and I slapped it. This is so mean! Damn. Got it. Yes, you have to, you literally have to. That is so crazy. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly huh. knows what it means. Okay, <laughs> that was so funny. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Okie doke. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share. With Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no. Bring it into focus on your own. Okay. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Oh, uh, hello. Good to see you again. We Ravenclaws must stick together. <laughs> oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's Thank very you. kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle sure. of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I. I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Okay. Sure, bro. What's up? Am I going the wrong goddamn way or what? I'm supposed to find Sirius, and my hands are too cold to use a telescope. It's a dog, isn't it? This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Looks practically brand <sighs> A pristine night. The perfect night for... I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. 
I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Oh, okay. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones yeah. Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while <laughs> the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. All no right. need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see okay. it. Onwards we... Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Oh, sorry, I ran kind of ahead of you, bud. <sighs> It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Uh, okay. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, okay. oh of course. It just not. Caged bathtub. This bathtub has been kept behind a lock and key for as long as anyone can remember. Rumor has it that the tub was enchanted to chase after students decades ago who were too obsessed with their studies to care much for personal Tidy, hygiene. as I expected. Nice. Good for you. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh no. Uh, Not this close to school, I mean. No, 100% there is, bro. Look, there's a table. I think you should be the honor. Go on, try it out. Yeah, I'm down. The constellation oh, should cool. appear near the center of your view. Hey, what? What am I supposed to do? As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Is this what you're talking about? What? What are you? What am I supposed to be doing here? I don't fully understand it. Oh, I see. There we go. God damn, that was way harder than I thought. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Cool, man. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. Yeah, really. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. 
It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Dang it, I was really hoping there was going to be a spider. All right. Challenge them to find astronomy tables. I wonder oh, what that grants you. Do get Revelio. Okay, well, now that we've got this stellar view, we are going to call the video right there, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Again, I know I say this in every video, but I am posting pretty regularly over on Utreon. So check that out in the description. It's it's a, just a great platform. And it's so funny because a lot of my videos are actually getting just as good, if not more, views over on Utreon. So you really should go over there and check it out. There's an exclusive series going on over there on hogwarts and i'm going to start uploading to the band gameplay series soon i might have already done one i don't remember because i record these a little bit in advance um and so yeah i'm going to put some stuff up on the band gameplay which is going to be like uh, a little bit more restricted stuff stuff you have to technically pay for to watch because it is a little bit more restricted so yeah i hope you guys are enjoying the content and i will see you in the next one bye for now